you get to the gin. Look at that. Look at that. We'll wait for that to load up and see how it goes. Afternoon. Afternoon. Afternoon, guys. Bit of a surprise there. Oh, you've already uh, commented. Oh, what's happened to your phone? I know. It's because... Is that on a lot? No, not normally. It's because there's nothing going on. How are we? We'll just wait for us to catch up. Is that a phone? Eh? Is that not a How are we? <laughs> um, any ideas on... Uh, Sound, can somebody just put in the chat if the sound's all right, please, and the picture's okay. We should be loading up in a second ourselves and see how it goes. So I'll move that out. I'm, just, I'm just working, working my phone. Your furry little friend? No. Your furry little friend. What day is it? Thursday. We normally do a live on a Thursday. We know there's not going to be a lot of people on here today, by the way, because we know that um, the time that we're doing it at quarter past two, but there should be a few people. What's going on with your phone, Pat? It hasn't got much of a signal. Do you want to do their, get on their Wi Fi? Giving me an advert, skip out. Yeah, do you want to get on their Wi Fi? I don't know if I need to, give it a minute. Okay, looks like it to I'll me. Just shake it. <laughs> shake it like a Polaroid picture. We'll be with you in a minute. There you are, we're on. We'll we were always on. That's all right, innit? That's not too bad. Chat messages like there you go. I think all messages. Oh no. Yeah, get on their oh, Wi Fi. No. <laughs> yeah, jump on their Wi Fi. What is, uh, what is the. the Seahorse 2022 with a capital S. Okay. I've just given away where we are. <laughs> But I think the Your thumbnail office. did that as well. No, I think the thumbnail did that as well. We're at the uh, Seahorse. We are in Fanny Bay. Fanny Bay. Fanny Bay at the Seahorse. Where's the Star Seahorse? Seahorse. Uh, that's it. Capital S. Capital S. Seahorse. Uh, 2022. 2022. That's it. Okay. Connect. Hopefully we should be away. Up and running. Just thinking about it. Checking the quality of your internet connection. Connected. Fantastic. Perfect. Let's get the chat back up and see what's going on. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it now. Brilliant. It's alright, you can talk to people. No, I, I need just, to read, I need to see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I'm just making sure that it's on top chat. <laughs> <laughs> what are you done now? I'm going to add you, no. Can I delete you and block you? It's you. Is it's the sound alright? Hi Maria, Maria's on by the way. How are Hi, you? Maria, sound and video right. is perfect. Right, we need to move that out of the way so we don't start messing around with it. Leave that there. Uh, Maria's on. Let's have a look. Damien is on. Perfect man. Thank you, Damien. Harry Shell, everything's fine. Thank you so much. Charlie's actually here at the moment. I think Charlie's in the Arona Gram. I've just sent Charlie a message. Yeah? Because he says it's roasting. Yeah. No, he says, very, for, hello from a very hot Tenerife. I'm like, yeah, it's roasting. Hi, Suzanne. 64 people. I didn't expect 64 people. I thought we'd get about 50. Yeah. You lot are skiving. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Thursday, Ramundo and Patricia. What's the weather like over in Lytham? I hope it's nice for you. Olive Garland, are you not singing at home Hobbies today, Shelley? It's closed. We've... Hobbies is closed, did you check the sound? Uh, yes, sounds fine. Um, okay. Hobbies is closed until... Next... Monday, is it? I don't know. Well, you're back I'm, on I'm next back Thursday. I'm back on next week. Next Thursday, you're going to be back on anyway. So, because of that in mind, what we thought we'd do is we'd do a live... Well, actually, Shelley's like, you've got to take me out for food. So well, we thought... Uh, it's the only way I can we get to get out nowadays. So I thought, yeah, let's go to uh, somewhere that we both really like. Yes. That's most probably in our top five yes. on the island. Yes. Without a shadow of doubt, it's definitely our top five on the island. It is uh, the Seahorse in uh, Adeji, Fanny Bay. Fanny yes. Bay. Yeah, I always get it wrong. Fanny Bay, a um, bit of a difficult one for us to park in. Very. But we managed to find a parking spot and then we come down here and we've met uh, the owner, Mark, who is fantastic. And he's kindly enough said that we can go uh, live here. And, uh, and spend some time uh, here, didn't we? Absolutely. I'm just going to angle that one as well because... We've there's... been to uh, to try and get the air conditioning fixed. Oh, that bad. what a bad day, man. So, this, I don't know what my hair's doing today. It's like, the windows have to be open. It's like 30 degrees. The hair's blown all over the place. So, it, it isn't amazing. And they still haven't... This is, we'll ring you with a price. It's not the regas, it's actually the compressor. Compressor's gone. Has broke. So I reckon it's going to be close to about like, 500 quid, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, so we turned, went back there to find out what it was like, and they went, oh, no, we, we've not priced it up for you. So we're like, typical Tenerife. Yeah. I said, look, you don't expect to go and get it sorted. You go up there and you just push them along, don't you? So very you've got true. to just very, very manani here. And uh, Marie is not happy. Maria. No, she's not. She's totally peed off. Yeah. With uh, the answer to your question, so I had to ask around with uh, Gaina and that. Yes. Gainer did get the translations done, but they are £600 yeah. to get them translated. And she's in smack bang in the middle of the taxes and everything, um, and flat out. And so she wouldn't be interested in taking any clients on at the moment. Charlie's in Park Santiago 1. So you need to get them translated, but £600 to get that done. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Must be it? cheap, well, back in the UK, maybe. I would have thought so. Uh, West Park Santiago 1. 
Uh, next door to Parky Santiago 2. Santiago 2, where I stayed on my first night. Right, yes, yes, I know. Those that glorious one. days. Those glorious days. <laughs> the temperature in Tenerife right now is 27 degrees. Yeah, and uh, it feels hotter than that. Yeah, it's, uh, there was no wind early on today. No. When we were out walking the dog. I mean, I'm having to drink gin. I haven't had a gin since like Monday, and I'm going, I'm not drinking this week, but Saturday. And then because I've just been really Quite hot. Quite stressful, and bothered, day. we'll get into I'm, that in I'm a bit. I'm very stressed today, I'm having a gin. So I'm, I'm having a gin. Kemi Jones says, Hi guys, just come back from Laguna Part 1. I heard Shelley singing in the rum pot the other night. Sadly, wasn't able to go in as, uh, as I had the baby with us and oh. was absolutely shattered, but she sounded amazing. Oh, How sweet is that? I'm there tonight. How sweet is that? Maria's when you know, you know, you know. Yeah. Hopefully, catch you next time. Nice one, Kemma, yeah. Was there twice in May after your recommendations? Great food, loud portions, and lovely staff. Happy days. It's brilliant, honestly. This place is definitely top five for it's us. So nice. Might even be top three. And we've just been talking to Mark, and he said that they're going to have a bit of a reshuffle on the menu as well. Yeah. So it's always nice when you can come down. We've got this new, and that new, and like, oh, marvellous. Yeah. I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you, and as I'm talking to you, I'm just reading the menu at the side. <laughs> we'll going, show you all that in a minute. We're going to have some food here. We are. And I think we're going to show you what the food looks like as well. So hopefully, we'll get it. if we can get it timed right, we'll get it set at the end of it. We'll get the food shown as well. Uh, it's miserable in Scotland, but nothing is new. Oh, what a shame, isn't it? Lee Grant says, Hi, Rick and Shelley. Hope you're both doing well. Hopefully we'll see you this November with a bottle of Japanese gin. Ooh, Japanese gin? Japanese gin? Look at you. How dare Where are you going up? Um, what was that one that... What was that drink that Calvin had as a present and somebody looked after the house and oh, they drank it? Tiki Fire. Tiki Fire. They had it... Um, Meg, uh, Megan. Rachel got it imported for him. Tiki Fire. It was like £80, 80 pound for this specialised... Plus import. Yeah, it was... Um, it was the, the most, they the watch a vlog, some vloggers who taste all these different alcohols and things and they try different things out, extreme things. And this was the most alcoholic uh, drink you could find or something and they tried it and Cal went, I'd really like to try that. So she bought it for him for Christmas, got it imported from America and everything. From and what? So, America. <laughs> Are you America. Hold on, America. So got it imported from America and everything. Um, and he came on holiday and his friend who he'd left in the house to look after the the cats. He's like came back. He's going, yeah. He says so. I've uh, he says I drank a tiki fire and I drank a Jack Daniels. He's like that. What? I'll I'll, re I'll replace it. Like he went. That was like a fortune and it took like months to import. And he's like, oh, sorry, mate. So, so he's good and he lost it. Uh, let's have a look. Have you tried the Mongolian restaurant and thoughts on it? I have years ago. I haven't want to go. And she wants to go and we will go. Yes. We will go. Um, it's an all you can eat Mongolian restaurant. Presentation's fantastic. I we don't hear I don't hear bad things about it. That's where you, you pick it and they cook it. Yeah, you pick it? your own food, take it over there and they cook it for you in front of you on a massive it's a massive uh, planchet. Yeah. And uh, with big they've both got big knives of like all the way through, you know, so it's wow, good. I can do a big knife like Oh, slappers don't need to worry about windy cars. No, we don't, Neil. Well, that's what he's going. It's all right today, like, when the wind is down. I'm going, me hair. I spent, like, hours it trying is. to sort it. Charlie, I was in Los Angeles bar last night. There was a great singer on. Mm. Mark? Not necessarily him. They've got loads of different singers ah, on right, now. cool, OK. Happy Friday for tomorrow, Rick and Shelley, says Eugene. Yeah, happy Friday. Well, it's happy Thursday to DLT. Yeah. Dull and scat showers in Glasgow. Ooh. Ah. Marie says, thanks, hon. Yes, I do know that it will be a lot to translate, but you have to have it done, and apparently it's cheaper and quicker to get it all done on mainland Spain. Ah. There you go. I don't know. Marie, maybe stick it on one of the um, expat sites or something like that, or there's got to be some visa sites. Um, I, I think it's a Facebook visa site. Yeah, I think there's something like that. Um, stick it on there and see, try and see what they say. It's such, I mean, Marie is trying to sort out a visa to come, a nomad visa to come and work over here, in, uh, like, from home. And honestly, they make you jump through hoops. Yeah. I mean, Megan's still fighting her visa at the moment. We're and she's giving everything actually. they want, you know. So, like, we'll see. Hopefully it gets sorted. But God almighty. Honestly, trying you to get over here. Don't, I think, is it because the island's full and they don't want people to come? Just God damn you Brexit. That's what like, it is. God that's damn you Brexit. Like. It's ridiculous. Kemma Jones says, thanks, Rick. You actually said my name correct. Not many do. Came home yesterday, our first time in Tenerife, and already looking today for January. We loved it there. Oh, it's nice, nice, isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, Charlie said, yeah, it was Mark. Mark was on the side for oh, Mark not, not Mark, Mark, Mark Craig. Craig. Mark Craig's great singer. Great singer. Lovely Karen, lad. Karen Reffy's on. Hi, Ricky Shelley. Lovely surprise. Oh, I am the one. All right, isn't it? I so, can't so, believe there's that. The 96, 96 of you not doing any work today. Do we flip that to live messages? No, that would be top messages. You need to go to that. Oh, that. Chat filter. All messages. There we go. See, when you were going, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like I don't sound like that. You stop me doing. I actually don't sound like that. I yeah, you do. I don't, I I do. don't sound Honestly, like that. You do. <laughs> <laughs> he does 
doesn't he? Raise on, how you two just some of us have to work, I will catch up later. This is the plan, we knew yeah, that most probably people would get this on a catch up later. But what we thought we'd do is because we, you're, you're actually having a day off from uh, singing, we thought we'd have our day off from our evening. We, we normally rush like mad in the evening, don't we? When, when you do a live. Yes, it's a really, really busy day, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really busy day. We do a live and it's, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on the behind the scenes, setting it all up. Then when we got to pack it all down, then we got to get to the car. Yeah. And it's just a, it's a mad rush before we have to go to work. So we thought, well, if we do one earlier and you guys catch it and catch up later on, it's absolutely fine. It's nice, you know, for some of you when you get in, you go, that's yeah. different. You know, what I mean? you know, I can understand why there's a lot of bars that have closed at the moment over here. A lot of restaurants, the Sun Inn's closed. I think that opens Friday, doesn't it? Yes. Maybe yeah. today. Yeah, Maybe yeah. Today, I think it might open. So anyway, there's a lot of bars closed, and you go, why do they close in the middle of summer? And it's because. It's a very weird time, I think, because yeah. there's that many families to start to turn up. I don't think they can afford to come out, so they're actually just sitting in the hotels with the kids um, and the all-inclusives, and so the bars are not really getting the tourists. Last night, we were saying how very weird it was because there wasn't so many people walking about, and the Night Owl had 12 people in, and there was nobody walking the street. Night Owl got cancelled. And they, ca they had to cancel. They can't afford to, to put the shows on. When there's only 12 people sitting there, you know, and I totally understand that. Mm. But it's a very, very weird time at the moment, uh, in the middle of summer, you know. So I apologise if you, you turn up to see me somewhere um, and I, I do get cancelled. It isn't down to me. It tends to be down the amount of people that's in the bar. Yeah. So, yeah, if anybody was there last night, sorry about that. Brendan O'Donnell says, I'm listening and coding at the same time. No heavy breathing today, please. <laughs> that was me climbing up that, uh, doing the Adeki walk. Oh, Why yeah. did you not join me on that walk? Are you having a laugh? Did you see that? I'm looking at it. He asked me if I want to go on that. Like, no. I've never done it before and I'm not about to do it now. And then I was looking at it and I'm going, oh, it's not even flat. I mean, I know it, I thought it was flat all the way through and it's kind of up a step, down a step, up a step, big long steps. Like, stand over that rock, make sure you don't break your neck. For those don't you, fall into the ravine. For I'm those like, of you who don't know, there's a second channel called Just Rick, and on there, uh, your son's over at the moment, and yeah. me, Calvin, and a friend actually did the uh, Barranco del Infierno walk. Which is the Branco Fire, which That's was a it, great walk. It was such Loved a, it. it was lovely. You know, I, I was quite happy participating on the telly. A lot of people got a lot out of it. The fact that you know, because it's completely different. It wasn't. I, I think that Raymondo said it wasn't a breakfast in sight. No. Or a coffee in sight. And it's something different about Tenerife. There's more to Tenerife than just breakfast and coffee. Yeah. Not everybody wants to come and do that. Not everybody no. that comes to drink as, you know, as well. You know. Yeah, yeah. So it's just something different to show. And I think that's what I like about the channel. Just Ricky, you got a chance and an opportunity to show different stuff. Yeah. This channel is a lot more. I mean, it's very heavily designed towards Shelley singing. But also alongside that is what we do with the lives, just keep people up to date, just having a bit of a giggle and a chat. Yeah. We don't get us wrong, we're not, uh, you know, we're nobodies. We just want to just have a bit of a chat and have a bit of, you know, we, we find it fun to do. And then um, also then we show the, like, the places off like this. We were talking, me and Mark were talking, it's like, Mark's very appreciative of us being in here, but it's yeah. just nice to be nice, you know? Of course it is. You know, we, we enjoy doing it. It's really, uh, really a nice thing to do. So it's just, it's nice of that. Uh, let's have a quick look, see what's going on. Mr. Loader chat. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Just in from work, says Jeff Daniels. Hi, Jeff. Well, hello, Rick Shelley and everyone, says Patrick. Hi, Patrick, how are you? Hi, Rick Shelley, how are you, says Darren. We're all very good, Darren. Hi, Thank Darren, hope you're well, mate. Uh, do you think Fanny Bay is busy or quiet today? I think it's quiet. Well, the sun isn't out, but it's very close. Yeah, yeah. Very, very close. I went out walking the dog this morning with Rick. Yeah, not a breath of wind. Not a breath of wind. Walking up a hill, I'm like, I, honestly, I should be like eight stone, me like. Charlie's going up Mount Sadie tomorrow, mate. You will love it. Ah, it's stunning. If you've never been, you'll love it. If you have been before, you know what you're going in for, and it's amazing. So enjoy, enjoy. They now say that as well as the all the other hoops you have to jump through, you have to show that you have a minimum of twenty-eight thousand euros in savings. That's just me. Yes. Yeah. It's just honestly, it's not easy. It's not easy to get in. Crazy, isn't uh, it? Dundee, Derek, thumbs up, please. Thank you, Derek. Really appreciate that. We just need to hope that one day they're going to actually chuck Brexit out and just join the, the EU again, so everybody can just live a nice, happy life. Because we were just saying how much it hasn't benefited anybody. It's not benefiting anybody. Nobody's turned around and went, "Yes, I'm really happy that about Brexit. We've like benefited out of that." Everybody's like that. I can't believe this. the NHS was a lie. It's just crazy. It's just, it Everything's just gone lie, through man. the roof. It's so expensive. Nobody's benefited from NG, that at all. It's just it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Uh, Craig Langster, hey up. Good afternoon. Just to, uh, turned YouTube on and YouTube popped up. Hi, Craig. How are you doing? Um, we've th right. This is what's called a banker. We're just putting this in the bank for later on for when <laughs> people come home from work and we've got someone to watch. Yeah. Uh, hit the thumbs up, says Karen. Don't let them down. They're doing this for us. Thank you so much, Karen. That's so sweet. Yeah. Hi, Reggie. How are you? Hi, Rick Shelley, and a much deserved day off, so I thought I'd catch up with you guys. Oh, bless you, Debbie. That's really sweet. Enjoy your day off, Bet. Yeah. Afternoon, Rick Shelley. Hope you're both well. Yeah, good. Can't feel my legs. I feel like spaghetti. After the walk. After the walk, and yeah. then we couldn't get parked, so we're now parked up the hill again. 
I'm like, oh my God. You see, yeah, but you told this... us about the price of the Chile Miners car park. Yeah, I did, but I, I would have paid for that. The nearest car park here, we'd have been in for an hour or so, would have been 15 quid. No, it's, it's not that It's very far. expensive down It here. is expensive. Very expensive. I told you that one time I went on the beach and I came out and I didn't have enough money to pay for the car park, didn't I? And the man yeah. from the restaurant gave me his tips so I could get out the car park. It was sweet. Yeah, true. Uh, let's have a look. Hi guys, let's go just to load. Afternoon, Rich, Shelley, it's both well. Everything good, says Reggie. Uh, hi guys, I've finished work, so good time for me. Brilliant. Sounds good, thank you, Reggie. Uh, Rick, if you create a video of up to date info on what you need and how to get it and where to go, who to speak to, it would go viral because there's no one that lays it out in understandable terms. Do you know what it is, Marie? I'm it, scared of getting it wrong. Yeah, there's so much. And it's like. I'm scared of getting it wrong. You get it wrong and then you, you've screwed some, somebody, you know, that's the problem. And like you're saying, the more you dig into it, the more you find out, the more they change the goalposts. They're not. Megan gave them everything they wanted and then they've come back and went, no, we want more. So for Rick to do that, it's like you can't put yourself yet on the chopping block for that. It's crazy. We went for a simple one. It's such a We shame. went two weeks ago to the Ayuntamiento to get the certificado de empadronamiento, the, the which council. is the, the council to get the living permit. We went in there and said, can I have a certificado de empadronamiento? We were in, in the there glass. for an hour or an hour and a half. We've come out with the piece of paper. I've got that to my sister because I thought my TIE's gone missing and stuff like that. And I went, and she went, yeah, I need the impadrimento, not the this. I picked it up and I went, it's the this. I went, why would you go asking for an impadrimento and get that? It's like going, hi, can I have a cheeseburger? And you get fries and you go, thanks a lot. Yeah. It's like, well, it's it a different kind of... Mentality. And you're like, well, why don't, why couldn't they just say, what do you need it for? You can't argue it's with it. It's not that simple. You've got to roll with it. They don't make it simple. Are you going for another gin? I'm, I'm not, because Amanda will bring you Yeah, do you want one? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Amanda. Cuando puede? She's Italian. She still doesn't understand Spanish. She still doesn't understand Spanish. <laughs> Do you speak Italian? I don't know. Oh, there you go then, leave you to it. I um, just on the way past. Oh, Hi, Rick Shelley, enjoy your day, says Carol Baker. Thank Darren you. Taggart, hi Rick Shelley, treat yourself to a nice cold beer and gin for Shelley. I do like watching you guys. Thank you so much, Darren. Thank you. I am Darren. actually on the lime and soda yeah, because I'm driving. working late tonight and I'm driving. And uh, yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm having some gin. Because you're not, you're not working until much later. Yeah, not until later. Might even get Calvin to drive. Reggie Cray says, what's it like in Blackburn? I don't know, it's not Blackburn. <laughs> <laughs> if this is Blackburn, it's very nice. Yeah. It's very nice. Uh, I noticed in June a lot of pubs were closed in yeah. July. Well, I went down to Parque de la Paz um, on Tuesday night to the corner bar and it was packed and I'm going, this is unusual, it's this busy. The Brands and List is closed for refurb. Uh, the Bull's Head was closed, which has a band on. That was closed. Frankie's was closed. And there was, I'm like, why? There's a lot closing. And I think it's because it's the beginning of the, the season for the kids coming, the, ho the holiday, the families. And it's just, they're, they're not taking as much money as they are through the rest of the year, please please <laughs> the rest of the year so um that's why i think we're just taking the chance to get the holidays in now because when they get the older people coming the that's they're the people that go out and drink uh, the families. maureen says said, i said hello to shelly on a flight from newcastle on the 22nd with oh, delayed maureen, i remember you Pets. lovely lady solo on uh, ginebra no oh. solo gin tonica Gin tonics. Uh, I said hello to Shelley on a flight from Newcastle on the 22nd. It was delayed. Lovely lady. Unfortunately, yeah. she was sat opposite my son, yes. who was feeling sorry for himself. Broken collarbone in four he places. Men. Oh. Well, he Ooh. was sitting here and How the man sit, sit on a bike, on a motorbike, and he was. Cross, not cross. That's the one. So I was sitting to the man next, talking to the man next to me, and he went, What's he done? I went, I don't know. I mean, I was like, I find out. <laughs> Because we were on board at this point. So I turned around and I looked at him and went, all right, is that our What have you done? <laughs> and he's going, oh. And then this bloke chirps up. He's like, he's staying in um, El Medno. I'm sorry for this bloke. I can't remember. I don't know his name. And he's going, did you do it on a bike? And he went, yeah, motocross. Collarbone. And they're going, yeah. So they're just talking over the top it's of me thing, now. Though, isn't it? And he's going, oh, I did that. You need to do this and do that. We flew. When did I fly back? On the Thursday. He'd done it on the Sunday. He went, oh. he went, that's not the worst of it. So he stood up and turned around, proceeded to pull his pants down, kind of tell you, Maureen, to show me his side oh. and the bruise where he's come off and banged whatever. It wasn't necessarily, you know, I would have thought of like full of grazers and everything, yeah, yeah. but it, it wasn't, in all fairness. Thank you, darling. It was more like uh, black and blue, and I was like a rainbow, I'm like that. Look at that. He went, yeah, I went, he says, I could have done it like on another day. And I went, you're lucky to be alive looking at you. And he went, yeah, to be honest with you, I could have lived without this. 
He says, I'm, 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 I'm pleased I'm like this. But Maureen, hello, sweetheart. Nice to see you. Hope you enjoyed your holiday. Alan Sterling says, uh, afternoon, guys. Looking great. Booked again for the end of August. See you guys again in Dylan's, definitely. Nice one, uh, Alan. No, I remember uh, you. And Moet is texting me. And uh, we're actually using the phone to... Uh, sorry, what's right for the... <laughs> it's right next to the mic. Yeah. Look at that body mics. La la got la. Them, got them working thanks to Calvin. Yeah, I didn't know. IT department. <laughs> IT department got them working for us. Yeah, the IT department. It's here at the moment, the IT department. It is, it is. Um, so, Anne, I can't read your message. I don't know what it is. You'll have to stick it in the chat. Or you're probably saying I'll, read. I'll watch you later. Rick, I'm down the road in Burnley and the weather is nice. 18 degrees overcast and a little chance of rain. Very nice. Oh. Uh, Rick and Shelley, great to find you on live. When you in Benidorm, we're there in early September. 21st. 21st. We've been watching Kevin's uh, yeah. Kevin's Benidorm vlog. We were texting him last night. Scott's been Tenerife, we were texting last night. It's very funny. Uh, was it, let's continue? Let's yeah. continue. Let's continue, viewers. Uh, it's very good. Hello, <laughs> viewers. Very good. Coming over in September for two weeks, hoping to catch up with you guys. Nice one, Debbie. September, it won't be here before you know it, man. Yeah, we're only going when people are going, oh my God, we're coming over and you won't be here. We're going to go on the 21st, Thursday to Sunday afternoon. Yeah. So we'll be we'll be still here Caroline says hi both it was great seeing Shelley and Gigi's last night we'll see you both on Friday in Dylan's Is cool that, Friday uh, that'd be good was that the couple that walked past us and said hello possibly possibly I'm not, I can't I'm remember not, Caroline I remember it was very quiet in Gigi's to start last night I'm not sure um, if I'm right seeing you were sitting on the right hand side I've got my fan on and it makes no difference whatsoever but I'll tell you what game changer guys if you're on holiday Ali Hop Ali Hop you get them yeah, you know I'll get them you get them off your, your, get them off you get them off your fella I want one that goes around your you neck you get them man. off your fella I want one that goes around you're not your listening neck. thank you <laughs> I could. Let's this last Friday one. I'm really hot. Really can't find me fans. Really hot. <laughs> can't get me from one Ali Hop. If you're wondering anyway, can you yeah. get me a fan? Can you get me a fan? I have two, and I've got like one now. But you, one so more. I went in there I and bought one of them that goes around your neck. I went in there and bought this. It's ten euros. It charges on a USB port. I gave it. I walked past her. She was singing and put it in her hand. And you know, as every woman would say, "Thank you so much." She went, "Why is it lilac?" Uh, no, I really snatched what it What did out. I say before that? Uh, oh, I love you. Threw it into the I sea. said, oh, I love you. <laughs> what, you hate Lilac. I know. Old, old, old. No, I'm not going there. <laughs> I want one that goes around your neck if you see one. Morning says, I love the holiday. It was too short. Son found out he broke in four places. Had up on the day he landed. He's a numpty. Oh, oh yeah. no. When he came back, Maureen, because he, he said they were going to leave it. They had to leave it for a little bit to see how it settled and then see whether or not oh. it would... Uh, It'll be all right, four places, no. And he was sitting, bless. He was sitting in the middle, and, he, and on the end, and his little girl was sitting in the middle, and the mother on the end, and bless. This little kid was like that, I'm tired. Just like this, oh, the legs, no. and he's going, oh! <laughs> <laughs> like, like, just kicking his bruises and his arm like that. <gasps> you poor soul. I didn't know I feel for you. We have a 127 people on the chat. If you've just wow. joined us, we are in the Seahorse, and we're going to get some food. Oh, so yeah, we need man. to look at the it's menu. Good. It's so Before good. we go, if you don't know what the COC is, I'm, do you want to go and ask for the menus while I do a little bit of a tour of this place? Because it is, uh, I've got my mic, I'll take the mic. Mind we'll have more. a bit of a tour. Just show you in this area where we're at so you can see what's going on. This is the view. Go on from there. This is the view that you will get if you come to the Seahorse. It is an absolutely phenomenal view of Fanya Bay. Absolutely beautiful to see. It's really, really pretty. Um, the signs up there. So you get to know what it looks like. It is that one there. Oh, she's got the menu. Look at that. The hostess with the mostess. It's a great, great place, honestly. And as you walk past, I mean, the, the staff are fantastic, phenomenal. Gives you a bit of an idea what to do. Freshly homemade staff has cocktails, beers, premium spirits, sports. Definitely the sunset is phenomenal here. And a bit of an idea of the food. Is it all going wrong? Why, what's happening? Is it blowing everywhere? I've got long nails in there. Oh, this is a fun one. It's got long nails. Try and pick this up with long nails. Ah, oh, well done. There's a nap, you've got to go in the, in the, the ground. Give you a bit of an idea, some of the stuff that they do. Cod and prawn fish cakes with cheddar chives. Lamb kofta. Greek meza. I'll tell you what we come here for, though. I mean, the panko prawns are lovely as well, but we come here for that. The, uh, where are they there? The soft Let's, shell Let's tacos. See it? Soft yeah. shell tacos. Strips of rump steak or Mexican chicken or king prawns. They're absolutely amazing. The food here is... Telly? The food's great. They've got a lot of stuff on the TVs. Yeah, they might do the TV. They might flash on it. I'm not sure. But there's some of the uh, some of the presentations that they've got of the food that they do. It's really, really nice. Nice food. Nice bar. Great interior as well. It's all cooked in an open kitchen. There's the owner himself. There's Mark. You Mark behind the bar. Hello, Mark. How are you? Fantastic. Lovely Amanda serving us today and looking after us. 
all cocktails that they do as well, brilliant. Everything's in an open kitchen as well, which is really nice to see. And the great thing about this as well is it's uh, disabled access. So even though the toilets are downstairs, they've actually got a disabled toilet upstairs as well. So it's wheelchair access friendly, which is absolutely brilliant for some people, you know, that people might need that. So Shelley's now uh, dissecting the menu. He's salivating, Pat. Do you know what? I think I might try... Uh... You might need that. Take that. I'm thinking about trying something different because we always see, we always get the the tacos, but I think we should try something different as well. Yeah. I, I quite fact that I saw somebody with a Thai coconut curry, and I'm like, oh, that looked lovely. I'm you right. like, oh, I'm no, all right. Not for me. I'm all right. Not for me. Cotton prawn fish cakes with sweet chili and alioli. Oh, that's the food, right? That sounds. It doesn't matter what you, you pick. It's there, like, oh. put the mic down. That's it. We're still practicing with the mic. It's getting used to it. Um, How's Rolo, says Darren? Yeah, oh, bless him, right, yesterday. So, yesterday he went, I just, oh, it's like, what, what are them? <laughs> yesterday I took him to the... You, you uh, don't name it, he who must not be named. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yesterday I took him to the dog park, and he goes to see his girlfriend, as he does and loves it. So, this dog comes in called Tara. She looks like a fox, she's absolutely stunning, beautiful dog. But the thing is, she'd been in season, and all the other dogs were trying to ride her. Bumper, yeah. So she was getting very aggressive. So the, the owner took her away until she'd finished, and she was fine, you know. So this was the first year she was back in the park after she'd been in season. And Rolla was just like, "Hi, hi, Tara. Hi, hi. How are you? I'm just going to see your owner." She wasn't impressed with this, and she's like, "I'm the boss of this park. I'm going to kill you all." So she ran in and just proceeded to attack Rolo at a pace and Rolo was like, what the hell, what's going on? And he'd take it for a little bit, then all of a sudden he turned around and went, not having it. So he turns back on her, then they'll start fighting, I'm like that. Ah. And poor Rolo's girlfriend, who is like, how many, 47 kilos, 48 kilos? Yeah, yeah. Massive. She's not a fighter, she's a lovely not a fighter, bless her. And she didn't know what to do, which was panicking because this whole thing was kicking off. So she ran at them like a bowling ball and just, just, just went, <laughs> And the two of them just went dong, and unfortunately Rolo kind of landed and scraped his bum along the floor. He's got a scratch on his bum. He's got a scratch on his bum. <laughs> and it separated them, it stopped them, it, it knocked them out of the, the red mist they go, yeah. they go into, you know. But he's fine. Poor Bella's got a bad foot. Yeah. Bad paw, we don't know, or leg. She's getting better though. Yeah, she's improving. I think improving. she jumped down from a height. I think she's just jolted that leg a bit, but she's all right. Did you get the fan out of Ali Hop, Shelley? Yes. yes they are yes, Ali Hop Shand. Yeah, yeah, fans. Yes. We did. Brendan is threatening to sing in Dylan's Rick. Please announce him as the Iron Maiden. The Iron Ooh. Boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, got one for Liz. View is absolutely stunning, says Penster. Hi, yeah, Australia. How lovely, are you? Isn't it? Australia's on. We're frozen. Oh, because we went away. That's right, we went out. Don't go away. I know, but I went out this there to oh, show and flash it, flicked like... over. That's most probably what's happened. So, what, 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 what do you think the plan is? Well, I'm definitely going for the tacos. tacos. I love the tacos. I'm thinking of ribs. Well, we had ribs before, didn't we? Yeah, but they're nice. There's too much nice stuff on here, that's I the issue. I thought we'd just go... Hi, Una, how are you? If we have the tacos and then we do something different as well. Okay, I don't fancy curry. You don't want... Okay. It's too hot for a curry. Cotton prawn fish cakes? No. Lamb koftas? Some nice stuff on here, like. Ribs, it really is. Uh, what I will do is... Um, it won't be immediate, but there was uh, we did a vlog of this place. And in the description below, I'll put a link to that vlog. It won't be a mean, so you won't find it straight away, so I've not got all the admin stuff I, I normally do. But by the time I get home today, I'll put the link in. Yeah. Or at the end of this live, it comes up like subscribe, watch you get. Have you subscribed, by the way? You subscribe. Have you subscribed? You subscribe. Uh, subscription police will be after you if you've not subscribed. <laughs> um, and watch another, I'll put the link in there for this vlog that we did on this place because it's just, it's brilliant. It's really such and a you nice like place. like the nachos, did not you? Nacho cheese. Well, yeah. You see, you've got the lamb kofta, Greek style lamb skewer served on a bit of bread. I think that's served with uh, fresh salad and homemade tzatziki sauce. If any of you, Tony just said, we'll try there in November. If you try it, just tell them Ricky Shelley sent you. Yeah. And the reason why we do that is because we're trying to show each people the power of YouTube rather than the power of like radio and stuff like that. It's just, uh, I think the YouTube people can see how much, what an impact they get. And it's, it's you guys are amazing, by the way, because you actually are taking our advice. You're turning up at um, the Olive Garden. Yeah. And you've turned up here so many times, a lot of you have done, and Mark's over the moon. He just like says, thank you so much. Uh, for that. I did like the mushrooms. <coughs> Excuse me. Cod prawns and fish cakes. Do you fancy them or you don't fancy them, do you? With, with sweet chilli? I'd say, yeah, cod prawns, yeah. You fancy them? Yeah. Do you want ribs as well? Yeah. Okay. 
So the codfish cakes, the ribs, and some slide and some uh, tacos. Tacos. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just like it sounds amazing already. It's like yeah, it sounds so good. So what you do is there's three. Give you a bit of an idea. The cod prawn, the fish cakes are nine euros. The what else should you say? The cod and prawn fish cakes. Nine euros. Oh uh, yeah, the ribs. Nine the, euros. The ribs are nine euros. So and they then, are tender baby back ribs cooked in homemade barbecue honey sauce. Yeah, and then the tacos are nine euros. And the tacos are soft shell tacos, pulled from steak or Mexican chicken, hawking prawns, in pan fried uh, peppers, onions with fajita seasoning, topped with cheddar cheese Amazing. and fresh chives. So there, you've got three courses there for twenty seven euros that are to share. Yeah. And that'll be enough. Yeah. That'll be enough for us. Hi, Amanda. She's Amanda coming on camera. Look at her doing her hair. <laughs> uh, Hello, darling. You okay? Come around this side. Come in the middle. Come in the middle. Don't need makeup. Come in the middle. This is Amanda. Ones. She's absolutely beautiful. And when you see her, just say, uh, you know, tell her how she is beautiful. Look at her. Always smiling. Always smiling. You're Italian. Yeah, I'm Italian. Ciao. Ciao, tutti. Ciao, tutti. What does that mean? Ciao, tutti. Ciao, tutti. Hi to everyone. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Ciao a tutti. Ciao a tutti. I can do that. I like that. Yeah, you can do it as well. Okay. Ciao a tutti. Well, I'll leave you so, to the ordering. Right. So, Where are we? yeah, can we have uh, the cod prawn fish cakes? Fish cakes? Yes. Um, the soft shekel, shekel tacos. Shekel tacos. <laughs> we'll have the shekel tacos and the barbecue ribs. Please. So, oh, the tacos, the, the, the beef tick. Beef. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want a portion yeah. of fries on the side? Yeah, I was thinking, do you want the, do you want the flies and flies? Fries? What? Can you, can't talk today. What's going on? Do you want fries? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Ciao a tutti. Do you want the jalapeno bombs? What jalapeno bombs? Mac cheese jalapeno cheese bombs. The fried bombs. Um, what do you fancy? You got them. Whatever you fancy. Yeah, let's one do each them. One each one. There are two. You can one, each? one each? Oh, okay. Oh, let's do one each. Oh, what the hell? On a day off. I live like on the bridge. On the bridge. Oh, I need to stop. Oh, you need to stop. I just drink your gin. And uh, for fish steak, that is the steak, bombs. Yeah. You want a and ribs. portion of ribs? And no, ribs, yes, thank you. So we've got just made. We've got just the fish made. cakes, the ribs, the tacos, and yeah. the bombs, and the, bombs and, the bombs. and the chips. Oh, he wants chips as well. Ah, and the chips. <laughs> Grazie. He's on Grazie, you man. <laughs> why, why, do you, why, do, why do you do this? Why do the Italians do this? That means what does well, it mean? Doing, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Shelly? <laughs> What's that? It means what are you doing? I say I like that. Ciao a tutti. Oh, Rand, uh, Rand's on. Hi, Red Chili, hi, Rick Shelly. This is a nice prize. Hope you guys are well. We're all good. Thank you, mate. Hope you're well. Hope everyone's all right. Little on as well. Uh, nice to see you. Will do. Grateful for the info, says Tony. What's the weather normally like in November? Me and the wife are going to be hotel best. It normally, normally, right? Can we say normally because we're not? You can't predict the weather, but normally you are sitting probably you, you would class November as, as winter, really. So I would say early twenties. Yeah. Night times get cooler in the winter. We get to a point now where Calvin and Rachel come over and they find it too hot. Yeah. We're all right, but well, it's July. Yeah. You know, and they they find it too hot, so it's uh, it's difficult. Most probably be more comfortable for people from the UK coming over September, October, November time. I think September's still hot. Yeah, it must probably is. The, the seasons have moved, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what it is. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you could get a Kalima that hits you in the middle of December. Yeah. Or it hits you in November, you know, or January, February, and, it, and that means you're going to get hot weather regardless of the time of year, and it's going to last for whatever, maybe up to a week. Yeah, that's true. Um, Maureen says the food is lovely there. Best olives I've ever tasted. Sun has a plate in, uh, plate in the collarbone now. Probably go off to, through the airport next time. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, Rick and Shelley. Great to know be there next month. Can't wait. Now do this in Flemish. Hoi iedereen. What? Hoi iedereen. Hoi iedereen. Yeah. Hoi iedereen. So his whole message is Goedemiddag. Leuk om te weten. Volgende maand kom ik daaraan. En ik kan niet wachten. Yeah. Hoi iedereen. Thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you. Uh, hey guys, we've got 145 people on. That's bizarre. What are you all doing? You're supposed to be working. It's a nice Thursday. It's a what, nice day off. What time did we start? We started at quarter past two. So we just ordered some food. We don't need it for another 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. You know, I spoke to Mark. It's all sorted. Because what we did, we said, we'll try and keep, we'll try and stay on the live long enough for the food to turn up. Yeah. And then we can show you the food so you get to see exactly what it's like down here. And basically what we're doing is we're doing, 
Mark, we're doing Mark a favour because he's doing us a favour because he's kindly put the music down for us. Yeah, he has. And he's kindly let us use his table, like one of his most probably main tables. Yeah. Hasn't he, for the uh, for our live, and that's it really. I can't, all you can hear is my fan on this mic, I'm pretty sorry. No. Uh, let's have a look. Wayne says, I'm coming over in October, hope the weather's good. You're it, always going to be. It is normally, the weather's normally always good. It's just like on a, on a night, you just use your kind of common sense a little bit. On a night, the later in the year it becomes, you might need a long sleeve top. You know? Tony says, my dad was French, he spoke with his hands. In Holland, you speak with your hands. We were looking. If something's really tasty in Holland, you go, oh, that's what you do. So if something's really tasty, that's, that's me. you go like that. No, no, if something's crazy, you go like that. That's you. And you go like that. <laughs> we were looking at Amsterdam the other night on the telly. I'm going, oh, I'd like to go there. Yeah, you, you want to go there, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Shelley, that would be my response. Yeah. So that's all it is, isn't it? Just me. Hi again from sunny Belgium. And yes, Rick, your Flemish is still fabulous. Uh... Thank you so much. Thank you. So you never lose it. Well, you do lose it sometimes. You do. Uh, Marisa, I'm coming over in two weeks in November. Very nice. nice. Rain back in Glasgow, roll on September. Oh, Dave Max's seahorse food is beautiful. It is the best. It's it nice to so see so lovely. many of you. It's nice to see so many of you have actually used it and come here. Yeah. You know, and it's like, you've most probably found it by accident or you found it because you're staying in the area, but it's nice to know people maybe come over and travel to come to see the area. Yeah. And because of what we've done, because it is deserved. It's generally deserved. Can I tell you how spotlessly clean this place is? Yeah, it's immaculate. It's absolutely immaculate. It has yeah. disabled access. It has wheelchair disabled access. toilets upstairs. You know, they've the main toilets downstairs. It's just. It's, it's, it's been well thought out, hasn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's definitely well thought out. I've never sat here in the evening, but it must be going to be a lovely place in the evening to do it. Yeah, we watch the sun go down and the, the boat go across the, yeah. the horizon and stuff. Uh, let's have a look, just jumps from there. Uh, Ram says, Kerry speaks with her hands when I've done something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Cat's on, Cat Lit. Good afternoon, both. Been to work. Hi. Bad to come home and well. Wishing you a wonderful day, and of course, everyone in chat. All oh, the best, Cat. Yeah. Hope you get, uh, hope you get better. Uh, Rick, do you know Tierra? I don't know what Tierra is. That's a word you see, I've been caught out there. Rick, do you know Tierra? What is that? Don't know what Tierra means? No, I would, I'm, I've been making it up for like, I don't know that one. I can read, and I actually read in Dutch as well, but I don't know what that word means. Explain that to me, just me, what that one is. John says, I start the night shift tomorrow till, uh, till Tuesday morning. <laughs> I'm on the night shift now until Friday night. It's not really I'm a night shift. I'm working the Calypso this week on Saturday, covering Saturday Club. Michael Levy Jr. Charlie, if you're still on. Charlie's on a Saturday club, it's Calypso, aren't you? Yeah. Great, Michael Levy. Saturday club's a great dude down there. Calypso. Yeah. I'll be down there with uh, Calvin and Rachel as well, it'd be good. If you're here and you want to go, you have to book yeah. after one because it, it gets really busy. It's a lot like hobbies. Afternoon shows get really busy everywhere, you know. They're doing, uh, they're doing really popular, aren't they? Afternoon yeah. shows, they're really, really good. Uh, Dave Mack came from the recommendation from here. Brilliant. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah, I'm starving. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, when your stomach just goes, I want food. All yeah. the time. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gillespie's off to Benidorm tomorrow to do some vlogs. Nice one, Gillespie. Oh, cool. Stay there till September, we'll meet up with you. Yeah, 21st. Yeah, right. see that. <laughs> Was that for in the 90 days? We were watching it last night and I'm going, my God, it's changed so much. I mean, they kind of have a, an idea of the layout, but it's like, wow, there's so much going on there now. It's, the station looks lovely. I'm looking forward to going there just for a look at it. The yeah, that the, looks really the pretty, doesn't it? Out. They put all, I mean, all the big TV screens. Yeah, Has anyone seen that massive uh, spherical dome in Vegas? By the way, it, 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 yeah. they lit it up on Tuesday. We should go there. It's a you know and have a, a look. big spherical dome that you can actually project stuff on it, and it's like it's a million hockey. It's like hockey pucks style spheres have uh -huh. made it up to create this dome TV screen. It looks absolutely phenomenal. It's just again pushing and pushing boundaries of what they can do, isn't it? It looks nice. Definitely looks really, nice. Really, really good. Maybe I should book Vegas for like Christmas present. We'll do something, and then uh, then I'll, I'll like do the deposit, and then then you do the rest. <laughs> Chemist says cold here in Devon. Contemplated putting the heating on last night. No, no, big difference from last week. Very jealous of you guys right now. My oh, God. sorry to hear that. Uh, Looning the expats, Harry and Shelley, much needed day off for you. Fantastic, have a great Happy day off. Cheers, enjoy your day off, guys. Uh, Looning the expats, they've got the they've got the camper van. Yeah. In Spain. Hope everything's going all right, guys. Hope you're having a great time. I always rate places cleanliness by their toilets. Oh, Leslie, it's immaculate. Immaculate, you've just Absolutely been... Absolutely immaculate. Yeah. Uh, Trisha, hi, Marie, was uh, at dermatology this morning. I have a cancer mole to be removed. Oh, Trisha, at least they're going to remove it. Yeah. All should be good after that, honey. Gillespie's only there for four days. We're going to Benidorm for four days, three days. First, Francis, Addison, four days. Four days, we're going as well. 
Weather's nice in Southport. I met my old friend on what on way home now. Very good. Very good. Uh, Rick, do you have an idea on which day it is best to go to Siam Park? It seems to be all the time too busy. Siam Nights is on at the moment. Siam Nights, well. Friday, Saturday. Week. No, I've done Siam Nights with my kids, and we've done I've done the days and the nights, and if um, the nights is half as full as the days yeah if you can do so with you can a do little the nights, bit of cold water it's brilliant <laughs> the nights are great there's no the queues are gone if you get there straight away ruby said there was a woman not being on the office and off we've been to she went with her kids last week and i was yeah. talking to the kids and i was like how was siam nights and she went the water was freezing because we live because here. they live here because we live here but if you could you're on holiday over here siam nights on a friday and saturday it's uh, the nighttime stuff it's open for about four or five hours you can always get in no problem at all uh, the other thing is, if you want to go through the uh, day, if you want to go in the day, go through the week because the Spanish are on holiday at the weekends. So then you get rid of, you know, we've got more opportunity to actually just get the tourists. Yeah. Definitely get there early. And here is a top tip if you're going to Siam Park. When you get there, the best rides are at the back left. Go to the back left of the park. You think you've reached the back left. There is a little pathway that will take you to three of the brand new rides, and they are the better ones. They're like the afterthought of the rides there. So get to the park. The pool's on the right. The main pool. But go back left, that's where the best rides are, and you'll miss the queue. Oh, look at me, I'm not going. No, that's it, so it's there. <laughs> uh, Ian says, What time do you call us? I'm still at work, don't tell the boss. <laughs> hey, Ian, how are you, mate? Uh, yeah, Sorry. The, the sphere in Las Vegas is unbelievable, it's, yeah, it's it incredible. Looks fabulous. It just, we saw it, I showed it you this morning, wasn't I? Yeah, we should have a look at Vegas and see what uh, we deserve a nice holiday next year. I think that's going to be our next holiday. I think so. I think it's going to be, um, we'll do Benidorm. And then we'll just like do Vegas. It'll be a year or a, a year and a half, but we'll get to Vegas. Yeah, I think we should. Probably I think so. Something like that. I think it's now about making, it's about making proper memories rather than just like flittering from left to right to some places. You know, I, yeah. we, had, we had this on the Grand Canary story. We don't think. I can't actually see that sorry, with the light. We don't sorry. think anywhere local to this area will top where we are. No, that's a problem. In our we view, need to go somewhere that's completely view, different to what we live now. Yeah. Otherwise, we go a bit. Mm. It's just, um, it's just. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the next one. It's going to be a major one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Ram says, I can't believe there isn't more thumbs up for this great vlog today. Yeah, yeah. Subscription, please. Will come. Have you subscribed? Have you subscribed? I don't have you subscribed. I've, I think I've subscribed. Subscribe, subscribe. I've subscribed. Have you subscribed? Have you not subscribed? I'm going to have serious problems today. Stick a work. subscription in there in the comments. Put it done. And we always say thank you so much for everyone that does uh, does subscribe. We're doing all right. We're going to get to 10k. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for 10k. For the end of the year yeah and the reason why i'm going to do that calvin our it department showed me all about Streamlabs. yeah he's shown me how if you subscribe it'll come up and you know all we're going to go fancy people we're going to go fancy are we yes i'm not but yeah, give us a couple can. of weeks we've now look this is it this is technology this is what it is we're moving forward now God, I'm expensive we're technology. Moving, we've done what we've done up to now with the basic iphone and a 40 quid stand from wharton We've had no fancy gear. That's and like we're Tandy. We've gone Tandy, Wart yeah. We've Wharton's done, like Tandy. We've done it with. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that vlog in Guima? Yeah. Oh, it's like a Tandy. I'm like, Tandy. <laughs> tandy. My God. Um, Couldn't think of anything similar to Argos so now. So funny. So we're moving Comet. the. Comet. Comet. Is it still a like Comet? No, I went bankrupt. All oh, right. Maybe it's because I took so long to pay me telly off. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. Everyone wishing Trisha well, seeing how she's going, which is good. Um, day one of the World Series of Poker main event on New in Vegas. Uh, on New in Vegas. I know. Oh. Rick wants to go and play poker in Vegas. I'm like, you go knock yourself out. Neil, is it day one today? And find it, me at the pool. If it is day one, where do I find it? Do I find it on Poker Stars Online? Or I'm just trying to work out where to find it. Or do I find it on YouTube? I don't know. Uh, Marisa, I love Benny Dawn. What's the best part to stay in for a relaxed and chilled holiday? What in Tenerife? Um, along here is really nice. This area is really nice. This area is Fanya Bay. nice to chill out there. Fanya Bay is a very... Los Cristianos is Old Town. Las Americas is a bit mental. Yeah. Uh, Puerto Colón is the crossover and Fanya Bay is chilled. Yeah, it's so more expensive you go along to the coast. stay along here, but I think Sunwings are apparently supposed to be reasonable. GF Fanya Bay is supposed to be very reasonable. Um, I know Sarah and Eddie have stayed there a few times and said they've gotten some really good deals in there. Yeah, they stay at the GF Fanya Bay, don't they? Yeah. They've said that actually, they get a great price. And they price. said, you know, you pay for what you get, but they get a decent price. It's not it's not fancy or anything but they always said it's really they have a nice day they stay time and time again so but then flick on the other side raymundo and patricia they stay at the andalusia and that's a three yeah, star yeah that's nice i don't think it's a three star i think it's a four at least yeah it's a very nice clean place the andalusia it's central you and yeah it is it's on the flat that as well yeah whereas here you're on you've got a bit of a slant going a hill going up um you're next to uh not far away from the safari center 
and the beach isn't that far away of a walk either really so if you like the flat Andalusia is really nice. Alistair, and you guys never eat at La Candy in Los Cris. We found it absolutely incredible. Best Italian meal we've ever had. Yes. Where uh, is that? We've been. Where is and it? And I said, you, we need to go back there where, where we got the nice pizza next to you. Oh, is that it? On that, on yes, that strip? Yeah, yes. we've been there. We've yeah. been there. It's lovely. Really isn't nice. It? Yeah, yeah. What, oh, I got amazing pizza. What was it? Uh, oh, the uh, Fiesta. No, it wasn't. It had Fiesta. onions on it and everything. Oh, it was beautiful. I love the pizzas, they're amazing in there. Jimmy Hoff from the, uh, from the Lake District says, hi. Hi, the lakes. Oh, the lakes is beautiful. Is it raining? No, <laughs> no it's raining when I see all the lakes. The rides feel quicker at night. Definitely wouldn't go weekends. Make sure you get there for the opening. There you go, that's it. Yeah, that's always. Get there. Always get there for the opening. Always. Uh, and can I tell you, August is even busier because everything closes in August. Spanish take the holidays in August. It's like shipyard fortnight in the northeast. Yeah, Balfac. Everything shuts. In Holland, Balfac. Yeah, everything closes. So everybody, for the, and the people who live in Spain uh, or live in in the Spain territory, like the Balearics, the Canaries, get yeah. a 70% discount on flights. So we have a massive abundance of Spanish coming from the mainland um, to come down to the Canary Islands because it costs them next to nothing to get here on the planes, you know. Yeah. So everywhere is always really, really busy, especially when it comes to August, the whole of August, by the way. Marisa, I'd love to go to Vegas. I'd love to, I think we're going to yeah. do it. Ian's off back to work. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, Ian. Thanks so Thanks much for checking in, mate. Stalin. Hey, but hi, back to Tenerife in January. Love staying at the Hard Rock, but miss the Safari Center area. So back staying at the best Tenerife. Yeah, it's, uh, Hard Rock's a beautiful hotel. In I've never been in. Never been we in. can actually see that from our balcony. Yeah, we we'll see the Hard Rock. You need the music sometimes when it's kicking out. Yeah. Patrick says hi to all the backgrounders. Hi. Good afternoon, backgrounders. Uh, Raymundo, Andorra. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah, Andorra's lovely. It was really nice when we went around, wasn't it? Leslie says, I'm subscribing. Yes, you should go to Vegas. Get married there. <laughs> oh, she got married there five oh. years ago. So that then, five like, years ago, and came back for our fifth anniversary. Nice one, Leslie. Oh, that's really that's nice. Brilliant. Uh, Jeff, Isabel is a great value hotel, good pool, heat in the winter. Isabel, yeah. This is what this chat does, you know, it helps people, doesn't it, find yeah. a way around. Uh, that's the life regards from a very wet island. Oh. Uh, Rick and Shelley, you have to visit Montreux, Switzerland. It's absolutely stunning. I lived there for eight years. Can we afford to go there? I've been. Sweet Lord, that sounds expensive. I've not been to Montreux. I've been to Switzerland. I went skiing when I was a kid at school. But I also know a lot of Dutch people used to go there cycling and hiking in the summer because it's just as stunning as honey in the summer. Just as stunning. I don't think we can go. I don't think we can afford to go there just yet. I don't. Yeah, I don't think we've got the money for that. Yeah. Kendall, beautiful sunshine in uh, Kendall. Kendall milk cake. Yeah, but we're we'll in two weeks' time and hope to meet you both. You know where we are, you know where we go. Uh, is the Gala a good hotel? Where's the Never Gala? been in the Gala. I saw it from the motorway. Uh, Gala. Can't even think where it is. It is this side of. Where am I looking at it? I, I'm like trying to visualise. I looked and went, oh, so that's the Gala. That's, right, the Gala Hotel is at the top end of. You know where the police station is? Yes. If you look down that way. Gala Hotel is, I can see it from the motorway down there. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Near Ponderosa? Yeah, that kind of I area, a bit further down. Yeah. So, uh, Anybody stay at the Gala? Jeff on your bay was great, Confolti in Feb. Ooh, oh, look, here we go. Nice. Right, we need to make some room for this. Uh, we'll just move this out of the way. Let's have a look at this one. Look at that. There's a barbecue ribs. Look at that. They are looking very good. Nice. There you go, look at that. Can't get with that. I mean, that looks spectacular, doesn't it? Are we going to be eating on our vlog? No. Are we going to be? We'll wait for the rest of the food to turn up. I need to move that out of the way. So just oh, it just looks it. lovely, doesn't them chips like? I just. <laughs> oh, I'm salivating already. I'm salivating. Already. I'm going for a. I'm going for a chip. I'm going to go for a chip. Oh, I'm not on camera. It's fine. <laughs> no, no. Oh. That was nice. Let's have a look at what they say. Be there in November for my 60th, can't wait, fantastic. Karen says, don't look at the gin on an optic, drink it. <laughs> uh, let's have a look, Fanny Bay was great. Oh, we've got more coming up as well, of course. Oh, yeah, Mark, there. What are these, mate? That one's the cotton prawn fish cakes. Cotton prawn fish cakes. That's the bombs. mac and cheese jalapeno bombs. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Cotton prawn fish cakes. You need to open one of them bombs, like. Let's look at this. Right, open it up. 
mac and cheese bombs. Mac and cheese jalapeno bombs. Um, jalapeno and bombs. The, and the tacos. Oh, these are favourite of all. Thanks, Amanda. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Java <laughs> Duty. Look at that. I like it. Oh. And do you know what it is there? I'll just move that over there again, just so we get everybody, uh, get everything in. Da, 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 there. Dear me, guys. There. This is like amazing. And do you know the thing about it is, for the tight arses like me, 27 quid. It's nothing, is it? 27 quid for all that. And then you've got, okay, you've got, you've got extras 550 for the um, for the extra little bits, like the chips and that. But it is amazing. It's Homemade absolutely fantastic. Homemade chips, proper chips though. They're not frozen chips. Proper chips. I'm just going to skip a load of chat. That looks fantastic, says somebody. Uh, enjoy, guys. Enjoy, guys. Afternoon. Hi, Anne. How are you doing? Oops, had to come back on. Forgot the thumbs up. Hope everyone remembers. Thank you very much. Guys, one of the things we do, you know us. You don't. We don't film each other eating. Oh. <laughs> we don't do that. We're quite out for lunch. We just wanted to come and say hi to you guys and just wish you because we didn't have a Thursday live. We just want to say thank you so, so much um, for all the support you're doing. The subscription count is growing tremendously. Trying to get to 10K. So if you've not subscribed you want to do it, please... Not me, no. Ring the bell. You know what to do. Um, we're going to leave you. We're going to enjoy this one. Keep sharing, Mark, guys. thank you so much. Thanks for having thank us. You. Really appreciate it. And we're going to leave you with that one. So uh, have a great Thursday, everybody. Amazing. I'm sure you're going to have a great Thursday. Absolutely. We're going to. Uh, Amazing. We're this is much better this. than working, by the way. Look at this. We're going to put that on to, uh, to the test. We'll leave it out there for you. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you so, so much. Everybody joined us today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one, guys. All the best. Bye.